we got to go back. We got to go back. We left it. We tapped into a little Hebrew and Greek. And they say name it and claim it. But the next move of God, we're going to have to go back to the blood. We're going to have to go back. What titles didn't mean anything. But what's more important to me is that I make it in the kingdom. Somebody else. Pastor Marlis, Pastor Marot, Pastor Xavier, Lake Lady, Evangelist Marot, Lake Lady Hallie, Evangelist Marot, Prophetess April and Apostles, Amen, Glory to God, Amen, Evangelist Grant, Amen, Evangelist James and Apostle to all the fivefold, all the people of God. Look at somebody say, I love Jesus. God is good. In this walk of life, you have to love Jesus more than you love anything. More because you'll you will be tested. And I found out nothing happens except God allows it. Somebody shout glory. We're going into books today from the Old Testament. We're going into the Greek, the Hebrew, excuse me, the Hebrew, which is the old. Let's go to Deuteronomy, the second chapter, and we're going over to Jeremiah. Amen. Amen. And if I had to give you something, to think about it would be I am I can and I will and you better believe that your I am's your I can's and your wills will be tested but God how many of you know that the Lord loves us and I found that out yes Deuteronomy, the second chapter, beginning at the first verse, three, four verses. Then we turned and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea, as the Lord spoke unto me, God is speaking. And we could pass Mount Seir many days, amen, and we circled around the highlands, amen. And for a long time, we were wandering the hills, and the Lord spoke unto me, saying, the Lord spoke, what is God saying today? Amen. Ye have compassed this mountain long enough. Ye have marched long enough around these highlands. Yes. Turn you northward. Yes. Turn and head north. In other words, it's time to go another way. Yes. Amen. I commanded thou the people saying, Amen. Ye are to come to pass through the coast of your brethren. The children of Esau which dwell in Seir. And they shall be afraid of you. Take ye good heed, take good heed unto yourselves, therefore, <laughs> meddle not with them. You must not come to battle with them. For I will give you of their land, no, not so much as a footsie. We don't have to compromise Amen. to be blessed. Because I am, I can, and I will. I am who I am. I can trust God, and I will trust Him. Yes. I will give you of the land, not so much as a foot braided, because I have given Mount Seir unto Esau for a possession. Go with me to Jeremiah 29. Amen. Jeremiah. And there is a word. How many of you need a word? Amen. How many of you need a word? Come on, y'all ain't saying nothing. 
Amen. Amen. We need a word. We need a word today. Oh, God is good. God is good. This is my old Bible and glory to God. Amen. The Lord is good. Jeremiah. It is 29. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. How many of you love him? Amen. Do you really love him? Yes. Look to your neighbor and say, neighbor. neighbor. I am. I, am. I, can. I can. And I will. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Jeremiah 29. Amen. I feel all right. We're going to begin at the 11th verse. Somebody shout glory. Glory. I know yes. the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. We hear that quoted a lot, but then we have to go to 12. He said, then you shall call upon me and you shall go and pray unto me. And I will hearken unto you. And somebody say, and ye shall seek me and find me. When ye search for me with all, somebody say with all. Not part of it. Somebody say with all. Your heart. Somebody shout glory. Looking at these verses, amen. And I want to give you a little bit of history of what was going on. We find here we have a letter from the prophet Jeremiah to the remnant of true believers living in exile in Babylon during the first phase of captivity. As the people of God were, amen, violently taken from their homes and forced into captivity in Babylon. Jeremiah was writing to encourage the remnant, somebody say remnant, of the true believers to give them great hope and light from within, amen. So he was encouraging them that even in the darkness, amen, uh, even during these 70 years that God was going to stand on his word. Amen. Can I help somebody today? Amen. We find your glory to God. You see, the Lord was referring to the children of Israel. They had been wandering uh, in the desert for 40 years, amen. amen, on the way to the promised land. And what he was saying to them was, I have something better for you. Uh, look at somebody and say, God, uh, got something better for me. Oh, uh, y'all, I wish I had somebody. You, I told you this is prophetic to me. Now, now if, if you want something to happen today, you got to believe it. Uh, and you got to open your mouth and you got to say it. Uh, because the atmosphere is set for God to do great things. Uh, somebody shout glory. Amen. I say, I want you to look to your neighbor and say, neighbor. God has something better for me. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, give God praise. So we find here, amen, 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 amen. God is saying, he was furry, and, and he was letting them know that I have something better for you. Aren't you getting tired of the same old thing? Now I want you to look to your next neighbor, say neighbor. Y'all need to do it for the same around, amen, in this wilderness long enough. See, a wilderness is a dry state. A wilderness, amen, you can have the wilderness in your mind. Get my mic right. Take me up and put me a little bit of bass in it. Somebody shout glory. Amen. See, you can have a wilderness in your mind. Jesus had a wilderness experience. Am I talking to somebody? When he went up and the devil was telling him, glory to God, amen, and he was sending all kind of stuff to his mind. But I come back and tell What do you 
necessary. That was necessary for them to experience all that God had in store for them. Well, what is that change? See ye first. It's just as simple as A, B, C. See ye first. The kingdom of God and His righteousness.
See, if Jesus is victorious, then I can be victorious. See, I tapped into something real good. I say, if Jesus is victorious, then I can be victorious. Because he already did what he said he going to do. I just need a new change. I just need a new plan. I'm already victorious over every situation you have encountered or ever will encounter. You see, he already took care of it at the cross. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. At the cross. The nail was for the fornicator. The nail in his hand was for the adulterer. The nail in his foot was for the bike biter. Somebody! 
accuser is a liar. That's the devil. The accuser may tell you you're not worthy of God's goodness and his blessing. That's what the accuser tell you they have. That we're not worthy. That you're not worthy. That you're not worthy of God's blessings. Somebody shout glory. But that's not what God has to say about the situation. Amen. Let me go a little farther. It says, for I know the plans that I had for you. Somebody shout glory. That's why when I messed up, they couldn't stop me. Shout 
glory. He said, call upon me and seek me. He said, call upon me and seek me. I am and I can. Somebody shout glory. Amen. I think Philippians, the fourth chapter, and the thirteenth verse says, Shout hallelujah. I can't discipline your bad 
child, you got to do that. Come on, give God some praise. There is so much to be done for the kingdom of God. Are we willing to get involved? Isaiah 6 said, and I also heard the voice of the Lord say, Who I sent, I will go for you. If God called you, we all been called. You will call out of your dark state. You will call out of sin into the marvelous life. God is looking for men and women today who will stand up and say, I will. Your I will means I will do God. Whatever needs to be done to further the cause of Christ. I will be what Jesus wants me to be. I will go where he wants me to go. God is looking for someone willing to step out the box of being normal. Somebody ought to give him praise. God said we're peculiar people. You got to step out the box of being normal. If you're peculiar, that means you ain't going to be right. Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. Are you fed up? I want to ask you. Are you fed up with your present situation? I said, are you fed up with your present situation? Be real. And the way that things have been going in your life, change it. How do you change? By seeking God. Seek ye first. You say yes. But you don't understand what it would take to make changes in your life that need to be made. Amen. What changes? The master that says, I can do all things. We're not elementary to what we need to let go. We're not stupid to what we need to let go. Somebody shout glory. God is in the life change. God said you circled the mount too long. It's time to go on through through it and praise God. Are y'all here? God said you got to make a U-turn in your life today. And the good news is that God is able. And he wants to help you. Look at somebody and say, God want to help you. God wants to help you. I, I told the Lord, I said, God, the sky is the limit. Somebody shout glory. The Bible, I want y'all to understand, is a book of amazing turnarounds. From Genesis to Revelation, we see God turning things around for his people. And today, God wants to turn things around for you. Can I call up Brother Ezekiel? Can I call up Brother Ezekiel? In the 37th division, amen, in the 37th chapter, he looked at a hopeless situation. It was beyond the point of no return. God grabbed him and said, He's thinking you prophesy. Speak to those dead folks. Prophesy right. Speak change. Y'all getting it? I know y'all speaking change. But are you willing to change? I wish I had some amens this morning. God told us, the master told the tribe, oh, watch this. I'm bringing breath of life to you and you'll come to life. Amen. He told him, he said, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the power to break change. We serve a God of endless possibility. If he can breathe life in the dry bones, he can breathe life into your bones. Some of y'all praise got to change. Y'all come to church and y'all sit here. How, why would God change anything for you when he said enter into his court with praise and thanksgiving? When you walk in here, you sit down and you've been sucking on a lemon. You ought to give God praise just because you got up this morning. Just because a car hit you on the way to church. Somebody ought to shout glory.
God to take care of it because you might have to do something. You might have to separate yourself for a season. Come on. But I want you to know that he's always working on our behalf to turn things around for us. He always works all things together for them that love him. Are y'all with me? What's your need this afternoon? Whatever it is, God has the capability to do. And God does it with ease. Isaiah 43, 18, I love this. The 19th verse, he said, do not remember the former things. You might remember, but I don't remember. See, you keep circling that same mountain if you keep thinking about yesterday. If you keep thinking about last week. If you keep thinking about two years ago. You gonna keep circling. And while you circling that mountain, you missing out on what God got. He said, no, consider the things of behold. I will do a new thing. Look at this. I, I want to I take it back a little bit. The man at the pool of Bethesda. 
The desert was known as the place of blessing. No doubt he had seen many people get their healing. I'm sure he had seen many people get their deliverance. Now listen to him, but y'all hear this, he saw it. Like y'all see things happen. But yet you still sit there and don't believe it. You hear people testify about how they paid their tithes and their life stayed on. You hear people talk about how they sowed seeds. Come on, talk to me. Amen. And God opened the door. Now this man, he saw, he saw the breakthrough. And, and repeatedly the devil told him and tormented him and told him. See, I want y'all to understand what the devil that was telling him, you're never going to get your miracle. It's been 38 years. Give up. Amen. Amen. Why are you even trying? Why are you even bothering? Oh, come on. It's like he talked to some of y'all. You know what? Amen. Pastor been telling you you're going to get that for 10 years. It ain't came yet. Amen. The preacher been telling you it's going to come to pass for 8 years. It ain't going to come yet. I want you to tell the devil that he's a liar. That's the devil torment you. That's not God. Come on. Clap your hands. That's the devil. I want you to look the devil in the eye. I don't care who the devil. You might have to go home back home and tell the devil. Devil, you ain't going to torment me no more. He didn't bring up any of the negative garbage in his life. See, that's what the devil does. I want y'all to hear this. All the lies the devil has spun, he just asked them one question. Do you want to be made whole? Do you want to be made healed? See, Jesus already know ain't no hair on your head. He already know what we're dealing with. He not going to come and ask you, what you did yesterday. What he said is, do you want to be healed? Do you want to come out of that dead situation? Y'all know what it takes. Don't sit here and act like you don't know what it takes. Y'all still on TV. disease in the world to keep him sick. When God speaks to you, there's not enough of negative. There's nothing that nobody says or does can stop what God wants to do. His past couldn't hold him down. God, you know, 
Why you ain't gonna pay the tithes? Because I ain't got to pay the pale and watch God. Amen. I have had a place now. I ain't boasting. They, I say later, I'm a shop in the best shops. Yeah. But does God say in due season? And I ain't got a whole lot of money, but I got a whole lot of Jesus.
for these young people. It seems you've been touched by that. Because there's some things. It's time to let go. Evil by my sake. There's some things it's time to let go. Are y'all hearing me? And I am says you can do it. Amen. Come on, bless God. See, there's more for you than against you. We had three that was for her. I am, I can't go still be over to do this. Do y'all know I can't has to do what it's been purposed to do? There's some people in your life that have to aggravate the hell out of you. They have to get on your last nerve because that's their purpose. But you don't have to entertain it. You can keep walking right on into your destiny. You be all been in the church and had a good time. You go to work on Monday. And the devil's standing right there waiting. That's, they, that's, that's, that's what they've been designed to do. But you got to know who you are. I ain't going around this mountain. I ain't going to entertain you. Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. Did y'all enjoy the word today? Come on, bless God. Go look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I can, I am, and I will. Clap your hands and give God praise.